Today I'm going to be cutting open five thunder eggs on my saw. So here is our first thunder egg. I'm very excited to see what's going on in there. It was a very hard cut. Let's check it out. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, that is so great. Good gosh, those bands in there. Golly, that almost looks like, reminds me of Montana egg, that stuff in there. That is so pretty. So amazing. Next up, we're gonna cut this guy right here and this one right here. I don't have the highest hopes for this guy because of this, but who knows? We'll find out when we cut it. But I just wanna quickly say a huge thank you to Martha for sending over and gifting us these beautiful thunder eggs. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you another thunder egg that she gifted to us. It's the biggest thunder egg I now have in my collection. It's so awesome. So I noticed on the last cut and starting with this cut that my blade is struggling to cut. I think it's past its prime. So I'm gonna quickly put on a brand new blade <laughs> and then we'll get back to cutting. Yeah, that fixed the problem like a hot knife through butter. I use the High Tech Diamond 10 inch thin center blades. I also use a thick centered blade, but today we're using the thin centered. If you guys wanna check out these blades, I'm gonna have them linked in the description box below as well as my discount code. But let's check out these center eggs. I think this first one, I'm not too sure. Oh, it's super light. Look at that, that almost looks like kind of opaly. It's pretty in its own right, but I like the bands. That looks pretty cool though. I will say it's pretty unique, but let's take a peek at this guy right here. I got high hopes for this one. Oh yes, it's got some really, really beautiful water level bands in there. Oh my goodness. Gosh, that is so cool. So, so cool. I love the water level bands. They're so pretty, so neat. Well, so far I'd say two out of three for studs. This isn't even a dud, it's just a little different, but we're gonna cut this guy next and saving the big, the big daddy for last. I got high hopes for this one. I think this is gonna be really, really cool. Let's check out our second biggest thunder egg that we got here. It's got some of this paint on there for my new blade. You can see it kind of peeling off there. Oh, <laughs> that is so crazy. Gosh, that's really, really interesting. Oh, wow. I'm just taken back by how pretty that is. Wow. It's got, you know, that kind of like the last two. It's like a combo of the last two. It's got that milky half and then water level bands. Look at how that shoots in there. You see that? You look at it like that. It just looks like dots kind of, but at a side angle. See how it's shooting in? Can't really see it from that side, but over here, right there. Those three. Gosh, that is really, really neat. Really, really cool. Love that. Well, we now have our last and biggest thunder egg before I show you the jumbo thunder egg that Martha gave us. I just wanna say, if you guys are liking this video so far, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscriber follow button. We got a lot of fun cutting, polishing, and rock hunting projects coming up in the future. Don't wanna miss it. Let's cut this one, find out what's hiding inside. Oh, 
I am so excited. <laughs> the crows. So excited to see inside this. I'm just going to move this over here into some better light. All right, I think that's a little bit better. Let's check this big boy out. Oh, it's got so much going on. It's got these, these red marks are from my saw, but all through here and around are very, very faint bands. This red is ruining this little pocket right here, but that is so pretty. A lot of great depth in there as well. And even down in here, this red wasn't in the way. It's got some great depth where you can see into it and it looks kind of mossy. That is so, so pretty. This one's a little bit better. Those white bands in there, oh my gosh. So sweet. Oh, I definitely want to polish all of these in the future. I'm working on a setup to polish bigger stuff like this. But in the works, <laughs> this is awesome. Let's go check out that really big thunder egg though. So here is the giant thunder egg that Martha sent over. <laughs> This is the biggest thunder egg I have ever seen in person and the biggest one I have in my collection. This thing is so awesome. <laughs> it's gigantic. <laughs> oh, I got to find a way to get it up on my, my shelf behind me here and get it on display because this needs to get seen. That is epic. Somebody, somewhere cut this thing and polish this. That's some big equipment. <laughs> oh, that is so great. And I had a ton of fun cutting open all of these. I think my favorite had to be our very first cut. <laughs> it looks so funny. But yeah, I think this is my favorite. It's just so unique. And it's got those really cool details in there, but they were all really, Really beautiful, unique in their own way. This one was kind of different, but like I said, unique, still cool. But yeah, love Thunder Eggs. They're so awesome. Well, I just want to say thank you again to Martha for sending over those amazing Thunder Eggs. I had so much fun cutting those open. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast. See you next time. Bye.